Okay, well, well we uh, mentioned some of our fine sponsors as we wait for the uh, teams to come down. Teams were out here in front of us warming up. One thing I'd like to mention, Dennis, before I go to the ads is I counted up the assistant coaches here for uh, Cape Tech 10. Bishop Stang last week had 11. So these are... Uh, these budgets, I mean, these budgets we're, we're are expanding. Coaching. These budgets are expanding. We were coaching that how many we have? It was me and Vito until you showed up, and it was me you and Vito. So, you know, I, I can't imagine 10 or 11 coaches, but uh, Must be far the, the, budget, the, budgets, the, budgets, the budgets are coming together here. Yeah. Yeah. And Dennis is uh, tangled up, Gino. Don't trip him, whatever okay, you do here. Okay. And uh, I'd like to mention uh, all our fine sponsors here on GinoTV.com. Condon and Coleman Insurance, Killen Real Estate, Nantucket Pharmacy, Island Pharmacy, Santa Strawberry Removal, Harborview Oil Corporation, Nantucket Airlines, Egan Institute, Peter Beat and Hat Studio, Pete's Fresh Fish Prints, Greg Lady Insurance, the UPS Store, Nantucket Booster Club, Greg Rath Builder, Nantucket Tackle Center, the Downey Flake, Sherbin Management, Brock Insurance, the Sea Grill, Don Allen Auto Center, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, Chevalier Gallery, Lady Bird Line. Cavalier, sorry, Cavalier Gallery, Ladybird Lingerie, Joe Packy CPA, Island Lumber, Martin Bork Painting, Cowboys Meat Market and Deli, Stover Engineering, Kim Appliance, Island Carpets, Nantucket Parcel Plus, TNT Water Sprinkling, The Island of the Packet Store, Connor Electric, Valero and Sons Garden Center, James Light and Sons and Daughter Roofing, Espresso to Go, Fast Forward, Nantucket Seafood, Hawthorne Guest Guesthouse, Rhino Electric, Nantucket Shellfish Association, Kitty Murtogs, Nantucket Boys and Girls Club, Outdoor Power, Just Do It Too, Sport Fishing, The Dog Wash, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Boathouse Restaurant, Cottage and Castle, The Scrimshaw Gallery, The Beauty Bar, Nantucket Electric Contractors, Champion Rentals, The Steamship Authority, Nantucket Tree Landscaping, Highland Four Finishing and Painting, Sun Island Fuel, and our new sponsor, Rudy. And if you want to be newer than Rudy and become a sponsor, it's only 15 a week. Vito has the best fall deal on the island going for advertisement. 15 a week gets your 15 second video that runs on uh, GinoTV.com. And uh, it's the best deal around for the fall season. Remember, we're doing uh, football now. Next week, we're going to do boys soccer. We're going to do volleyball. First mention of the volleyball. Probably traveling on the road next week to uh, West Bridgewater, but uh, if you want to be part of this, give Gino a call, 508-292-2203. And every, there's always one ad, you know, it gives me a hard time. How do I say that one again? Cavalier. Cam. And it's John Ray. Uh, yeah. Cavalier. You know, like, hey, I'm Cavalier. John, not Greg. Like Dennis is, he's very cavalier. Cavalier. Like Dennis. But, uh, Absolutely. you know, the Boathouse restaurant yeah. used to be the one that gave me a hard time last year, and I practiced right. all summer. <laughs> and I had it all down, Gene. I was going to go, Bacos eat tacos. Uh, Bacos eat tacos. And now they're, they're, the Spanish, they're, they're, not, they're not here anymore. And I, had, I all summer long I practiced that. And they come back with the Boathouse. That's too easy. You can't, you can't mess up on the Boathouse. All right, we see the captains out there, Dennis. Okay, for uh, Cape, uh, Cape Cod Tech, number 42, uh, Jay Allen, and number four is the quarterback, David Coakley, and uh, Trevor Mosier, number 64, and Dylan Bowers, number 74, Bob Wallace, number 51. And that would be uh, Corey Ryder. And uh, let's see. Number four, Travis Denby. Number 22, Alex Small. And one more we got. <laughs> Number two, J.T. Gambroni, Real Captain. All right, Dick, I'm excited for this one. How about you? Yes, yes. And uh, last week, we, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about the offensive line. And somebody said to me, well, how big are they? Well, I just did the math, Dennis. The five starting offensive linemen, uh, 350, 235, 200, 190, 288. Add them all up. 
Do a little math. Divide by five. The average of our line is two fifty-five. Wow. Two fifty-five. So remember a team when you're talking to the average line that big. <laughs> All right. So, uh, proud of that. So Dick, uh, I'm not quite sure who won the toss. Did you see? <laughs> I was too busy trying to get the numbers of the I captains. Was, I was busy too. Gino, we, we, have, we, have to, we have to give Gino that job. Gino, we're very busy at the you, start of the game. So I, I think we're getting the ball. Gino thinks we're getting the ball. No, we're kicking and the ball. I think, getting I the ball. Think Gino we, is absolutely Gino right. Gino is absolutely right. See that? Nantucket is getting the ball. The kickoff is brought to us by Don Allen Autoson. The new and used vehicles on sale at Don Allen Autoson. And, uh, now, how have we done in the past with these guys? Pretty I mean, good. Yeah? I mean, we normally we lost one, one time. I think we've lost one out of the last four years, but they've been all close games. It yeah. was, I think, you know, I remember a fourth quarter touchdown, I think it was last year. Hogan got a fourth quarter touchdown with about two minutes left to, to uh, turn out like a 14 to 8 game. So they're very, very competitive games. All right, Terrain Burton and uh, Travis Denby back deep. And here's the kick. And over in, Burton lets it go to Denby. Denby fumbles it. And Denby's going to try to get to the wall. And he hit and drops inside the 20 yard line at about the 19. Well, Cape Tech, I mean, Upper Cape did an excellent job of staying in their lanes there. Yep. Because he, even though he bobbled it, Sometimes those plays go further really than the regular ones because Absolutely. people people get out of their lanes and start moving left and right, and but they stayed right there. When you're coaching <laughs> special teams, you always tell them in the kickoff, you need to stay in your lane. All right, so Nantucket will be starting here first and 10, right at the 20, right below the 20, 19 and a half. All right, ball goes to Demby and... Pretty much stacked up at the line of scrimmage, Dick. Yeah, he he went into that line with his head down. I don't know if he had full control of the ball or not, Dave, but he, he sort of put his head down, which is not his style. He's sort of looking. He's sort of looking for the uh, the seam to break away, but uh, he had his head down, and as you say, they clogged up the line pretty well, so maybe that uh, forced the issue. They're you watching this live. We're live, Dennis. We are. They're, they're picking us with China right now. All right. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. You know, imagine going to bed in China and saying, "Hey, we can watch. We can watch the Whalers." All right. You got split backs in the cross buck series, and right oh, away, I Alex Smart. Like and then we're gonna go to a could not could not get to the corner down. there, Dennis. That's the old cross buck, Dick. Yeah, couldn't get to the corner. Looked like he had a little room out there, but uh, this it, is. Third, third and, nine. and long. This is the first passing down of the year for the Wheels. They did not have to pass at all last week. They did pass once, 0 for 1. But now they have to pass here. And, uh, all right, Jack Colgate, the quarterback. Jack's a good scramble, too. If it breaks down, he has the capabilities the, of running. The slot is uh, JT Gambroni. And on deep is uh, 22. All right, outside. They try to run it. Maybe fourth down. Whalers will be forced to kick. Dick, did we punt last week? I don't think so. Uh, I think we punted once. Once, me. All right. Yes, we did punt once. One right. time. All right. Good job by uh, Upper Cape. So Corey Ryder slides over from guard to center. The long snapper, J. JT uh, back there at the punt. The up back is number 13. Jack Colgate. This punt brought to us by Island Variety. And the ball's going to bounce. And Not a good a, punt. An upper cape bounce, and the ball's going to be located inside the 50, 47 yard line of Nantucket. So upper cape has great field position starting out. Just up a 25 yard punt there, Dennis. So uh, that's sort of average for the coaching staff over to give the signals. Gino's all excited about this live since he's pointing and giving signals here. We're going to have to mic you up, Gino. We need three mics here. <laughs> Gino could be our spot. We can be the, we can be the drive-by football unit. All right, <laughs> first and ten, and up the middle, number 23, gets to the second level. A little bit of a seam there. He slid into it and picked up an easy five. They're going to mark him a little bit longer than that. Great Valley near five yards. 
Get a pick up. They're maybe gonna, six. They're going to maybe six at least close to seven. So a nice opening uh, round down for uh, Upper Cape. They're almost in four down territory yeah, here too. Yeah, And 42 up the middle. Oh boy. That's a first down. Wow, first and ten. Alex Small on the tackle. Small on the Alex tackle. Small was all over the field last week, Dennis. He, uh, I believe he was a leading tackle. I didn't see the, all the stats, but uh, he certainly uh, was one of my uh, stars of the game. And uh, So it, right now, it looks like they're running off tackle, Dick. And the quarterback keeps it. And Again, makes it a gain out. I thought he was stopping so the backfield. I'm not sure that that was an Ooh, option, Dennis. He, he, he put the ball in and then he pulled it out in a hurry. But I don't know if it was an option or it was just a, a misplay. The upper cape uh, quarterback, uh, David Coakley. He's a good athlete to be able to uh, yeah, from born. react that way. And he's, he, uh, he's in studying health careers. He... Uh, Oh, it's really? interesting. How, you, you got the lowdown on all this? I it's interesting. Down. Nice job. It's interesting you. you say Bond, Dennis, because Upper Cape beat Bond last week. Yeah, they did. Greg Valier up the middle, off tackle. Straight ahead, quick, a quick hitter. And it's a third down and about one. Korea got a hold of him and brought him down, keep him from the first down, but they're definitely in four down territory now, so they're going to have two cracks here. Third and one. Looks like the Upper Cape has some really fine athletes. Ball's on about the 26. And the quarterback's going to keep it, and I believe he's got enough for the first down. Yeah, that's the that's that's a, a funny option, Dennis. Yeah. He he goes well, back. Is, is he really option in Dick? Uh, he, he's, he can't call it an option, but what he does is he goes back and he, he makes a decision. Give it to him or don't give it to him. Hamilton on the stop of the way. That time he goes back, he doesn't give it to him, and then he goes back up the other way. So right now... Right Tuckett's now they're hurting the Whalers off tackle, Dick, which is surprising. Yes, the big defensive line there. But well, the, all, you, all you have to do is find the seam, Dennis, and that's what they've been and doing. they're going to go with the pitch to the outside. And nice good job. Tackle. Small. Good job. Alex Small, Alex Alex Small on the tackle. Alex Small and saved a big one there. I'm not quite sure they made anything on that, Dick. They're going to give him a yard. I, I thought he had him in the backfield myself. It, somebody missed a block. But Alex Small Second saved a big down. one, Dennis, because if Alex doesn't make that tackle, he's gone. He's uh, heading for pay to it, you're right. Okay, we got second down and nine. And it looks like they're in the, uh, an offset. And they're going to throw it. Quarterback's going to run. Being chased. Gets outside. Cuts it back. And Quarterback is a good athlete. Yes, he, he is. is. Copley. Hughes on the stop of the Oilers. He went from nobody being open. That was a nice time to try a passway. Nantucket defended it well, though. You know, they're running, 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 as you say, off tackle. Uh, you hope that one of the defensive backs or the linebacker falls asleep. Neither one of them did for Nantucket. Cover them in. Then you look like he's going to be sacked, knocked back for a loss. He so winds up picking four yards. Down up. And about five. He picks big, up four on that, Dennis. Big four. Out of, out yeah. of the scramble. And here we go. Number 18 in the backfield for them. Number 18 is Nick Stewart. And he's going to be the quarterback. And he gives it up. And now we get down to about the 15-yard line. And before we get hurt on that fourth, play, Dennis, the, the trainer's looking at him over here. Oh, oh really? Number four is on the bench over here. Yeah, so that's a backup oh, quarterback. Yeah. So unless uh, Upper Cape calls a timeout, they're going to go with the backup quarterback here. And all he's going to do is hand off to 23. He's not going to run the ball. So all of a sudden, Upper Cape's offense is cut in half. All right. They need a big uh, two out of this. Oh, oh. They got the sides. Well, well, they got the first down. They got the first down on a run. Did um, they drive? Or? Um, well, they it's, up to the, it's up to the official. It looks like Nantucket jumped. Yeah. 
It looked like Nantucket jumped, so they'll take the five yards. The five yards would be better than the Off run. Sides against the Whalers. Jeez, it was against the Whalers. Yep. <coughs> I thought maybe they. So they and accept. The quarterback's going back into the game. Yeah. Could they accept the penalty, Dennis? The five yards is longer than the run. The run was about three or four. Either way, they had the first down. And now, the ball's inside the 10 to about the 8. So now it's uh, first down and goal. They're going to pick up about 8 or 9. I think it's closer to 9. 8 or 9 yards here on the... And number 42 nice tackle right there. away. Number 43. 43, number nice 75 on the tackle from the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Would be Nick Correa. But it was Chris and Cyril Allen Dennis who shot through there and uh, got a piece of them, which slowed them up. And we got second down and... Yeah, I don't think he picked up anything on that. Nothing. Second and eight. Second and goal from about the nine. Let's see if they go to the pass or stay with the run. And they're gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna throw it or he's gonna run. Wow, he's in he got in. Door. Wow, he, he faked JT, Dennis. You haven't seen JT get faked that way before. JT had a piece of him, but he went right around him. And that's the first touch score on the attack of this season. Number 18 back into the ball game for the extra point. Not on the touchdown for the Kate. So we'll call that a nine-yard run. They're going to go for two, Dick. Well, 18 was 18's been in the in there before, so he's a he's a halfback and the backup quarterback. There we go. And he stay 18's does stay in. Oh, he's the end actually. So he's going to be the wide receiver. All right. They're going to go in the, in the I formation, and the quarterback's going to keep it. And he's going to keep. Oh! oh. Second, and third second effort, third. effort then. Yep. Nantucket had him stop. He would not go down. And. Uh, okay. Gets himself into the end zone. David Coakley, he's a senior quarterback, defensive back from Bourne. And as Dennis said, he's in health careers. Hey, folks, well, there's a break in the action. Dennis had to get here at 3 o'clock, Gino, and interview all these kids <laughs> to find out what they're studying. So you better, you, you better, you better, you better, you better buy him a Laguisa burger at halftime for all that extra work he did. Is that what they got today? <laughs> I thought they had chicken. Well, last week they had fried chicken. I, th I, th I heard they might have ribs tonight. I don't know. Oh each, each week they're doing oh, a special. Each week they're doing well, a special. come on. I mean, they're talking show up. Let's Show up and get Booster Club, right? Booster good Club food. is food. Yes, yes. Come to the game, get some good chow. All right. Kickoff coming up. Brought to us by Nantucket Island Pharmacies. We've got you covered in town and out of town. Both pharmacies offer you prescriptions, nutrition, beauty products, health aid, qualified, knowledgeable staffs. In town, 45 Main Street, out of town, 122 Pleasant Street. And tomorrow is the Elder Expo at the oh, uh, yeah. high school. And our good friend Alan Bell is there. I see him every year, and uh, he's 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 at there. Yep. And uh, stop by and You're say hi. Shot, I get my flu shot tomorrow. Yep. Oh wow! What time is That's that? That's the time to do it. Yes. Start, it's nine to eleven thirty. So get there early because they they usually they run out. Yep. Bring your medic med medic's card with you, Dennis. Nice run back for the Whalers. Yes. Out to the forty-two. That's what we needed. Keenan Phillips with the carry. Keenan Phillips. Good run back. Keenan's a senior, and you know he's he's mostly playing defense this year. But uh, you know, as a sophomore to junior, he was a, one of the prime running backs. But uh, now he's on the defensive side. But he did a great job there with that run back. All right, here we go. First and ten. Now we'll see if the Whalers change their game plan at all. They haven't been behind yet this year. Yeah, and, and three and out last time. They don't want to do that too back to back, that's for sure. Second man through, Travis Denby. No, he gives no, it to uh, fake. JT. Good fake. That was a triple fake, Dennis. You got the yeah, second yeah, fake. But JT come across behind Denby and took the handoff, picks up two. I didn't Hard see that. Two. And right now, 
Nantucket is uh, not winning the Battle of the Lines as they did last week. Oh, that, right now, Upper Cape is holding their own out there. That's amazing right now. We don't have we don't have the uh, weights on. Uh, no, we do not. Upper Cape, but that's 64 right in the middle. There, he's a good sized lad. Okay, here we go. Keeney Phillips split out. JT in, in the in slot. And we got motion to the right. And we're going to throw it. Colgate coming to the outside. Colgate block, yes. Gets outside. Good run by Jack Holgate. Yeah, that's what Holgate can do, Dennis. That's his strength right there. Jack Holgate, the ball carrier for the real Making something happen out of nothing. So the ball goes to about the 36 yard line. First and 10. So a big gainer for Jack, and Nantucket now is set up on their side of the field for the first time today. Trailing by eight. You got the eye formation. Formations to the left. We've got to come up to the left and hit right away. Wow. It's Denby. And he's I tackled think, for about a two-yard loss. I think they uh, looked, looked at the uh, game, the game oh, yeah. from last week. They, yep. they scouted Travis Denby. They, uh, they said you can't let him get across the line of scrimmage. Because I recall on, on his three touchdown runs, the hole was there, and, and once he gets – three yards beyond the line of scrimmage, then he just has this burst of speed that he goes to daylight. And they don't want him to get the three yards and look for that daylight, so they're clogging him right up at the line of scrimmage. All right, we got second down and he lost 13. Two on that. He lost two or three on that, you're right. And they're gonna throw it, gonna go out to the, the rush on. There goes Holgate again. Holgate comes up. Yeah, he picks up about Holgate, five. Yeah. That's a good run. Now, Holgate's a tough kid, but you don't want him to take a lot of bangs on the sidelines because they become vicious when people start knocking you out of bounds. Actually, he picked up maybe two. So it's third down and well, they do. Well, the, oh. way, the way they have it marked right. is, the way they have it marked, they said he picked up nothing. Yeah. I thought he... Well, he uh, picked up a little bit. Well, third and 13, I mean, third and 12, yeah, okay, he picked up a yard. I think it was second and 13. And the split backs. Holgate's going back to pass. And if he runs it, he's wide open. Oh! oh. Incomplete. Oh. The pass was behind him, Dad. Yeah, he had a first That's down incomplete. there. And oh, JT, JT tried to reach over his shoulder for it. The ball was a little bit behind him. No, yeah, I think you would you punt. I don't think we're going to punt, no. Uh, if they don't make it, we're gonna get, they're going to get good field position. Coaches but, are over there deciding. He's a, yeah, he's going to take a timeout. He's going to take a timeout. They, they got to make a decision. And uh, What would you do? I yeah. would punt it. I would punt. Okay, I would. <laughs> You, you, you like the Bears, right? Oh, don't bring that up. They're playing the, tomorrow night, though. The Bears? I mean, Sunday night. The Bears? The Bears? Yeah. Do you like the Cubbies? The Cubbies clinched. Oh, of course I do. The Cubbies clinched already. Of course I do. They yeah. clinched today? Oh, yesterday. Yeah, they, yesterday, they, they, yesterday they clinched. Good so for them. Cubbies are the first team in. Well, who's their, their coach? Madden. Uh, the guy Ma that Madden. Madden. Oh, I love him. Yeah, Joe Madden. Madden. Madden was a good coach. Class he act. with Tampa Bay. He gave the Sox fits. Speaking of the Red Sox, what oh, a unbelievable comeback, comeback last oh night! My yeah. Gosh. And you know the Yankees had us just where they oh, want us, ready to give us our third straight loss. Uh, they trying to stay away from the close. I didn't understand that. And then I don't understand after after the runners moved up to second and third with two outs why they pitched to uh, Ramirez. Because his run means nothing. The tying runs at third, the winning runs at second. So you walk, you walk Hanley only to force a, uh, to force a force at any base, you know? And the Whalers are gonna punt, I think. They're, They're lined up in the punt formation. Upper Cape's not buying it, Dennis. No. 
they don't well, have to buy it. Huh? They, they don't have to feel it. They don't have to feel it. You don't have to feel the punch. You can, you can let it roll. And the ball's going to go out of bounds. Is that a good punt? Let's well, see where they. Let's, if it's inside ooh. the 20, it is, yeah. And the ball's what? On the 20, Dick? Well, if it's Gino said, is it a good punt? I said, it's good if it gets inside the 20. It's just about made it inside. If you kick out into the end zone, 19. it comes out to the 20. Robert so they, it, it's a 19, so you say he picked up one yard on that. But I would have, with, with them not going back though, Dennis, I would have just pooched it straight ahead and let yeah. it, well, hopefully it rolls dead, you know, yeah. somewhere down around the they five. Have trouble looking down the field uh -huh. there. They have ball caps. Always coaching. Shot, isn't it? Well, Always you know, it, it, once you get it in your blood, so yeah. I think that's it. You, sh you should watch a Patriots game in Regino. Yeah. You got it, yeah. really? Do you think, you think this coaching going on? signals into Belichick? <laughs> <laughs> okay, straight ahead. Well, you Tucker's trying to grab the ball. It, it almost came out there, but he was down before it did. And he picked up a yard. Garcia on the stop for the Whaler. Gar Garcia on the tackle. So far today, Dennis, other than... 23 making those first good, good runs. The big offensive plays on both teams have been the quarterbacks sort of on, you know, broken plays. And that ends it's the first period. First wow. quarter. So without uh, a lot of passing, without a lot of uh, timeouts, the first quarter flies by. And uh, we have played 10 minutes here at uh, Vito Capizzo Stadium. And it's the on the Nantucket wheel is on the short end of an eight zip score. The uh, game away next week, we're at West Bridge, we're gonna be there, Dick. Gino uh, is, Gino, G Gino and Dennis, Dennis are gonna, gonna, go. gonna so be there. we can do live, we gotta let people know. We're gonna do, we'll do it live. We'll try to have it live, it depends on the signal. The signal we get. The internet signal. Nice job by Nantucket. Ooh, that's the way you play okay. deep. So they Number 75, Nick Korea on the bottom of that pile. Yeah, good job there on the defense. Also number 70 yep. for the Whalers, uh, Devon Daniels, number 70. So that brings up a third and 10. Vaughn has shown the uh, ability to throw the pass, although a couple of times he just rolled out passed up the pass and picked up some good yardage. Okay. He's got to pick up 10 here because they uh, it's not four down territory. So he needs 10 to keep this drive going or the wheels are going to get the ball back. And they're going to fake it up the middle and they stop. And the three is 23, great well here. Stop and, and will cause a punt. Coach played a little bit safe there with the lead. Well, he didn't. He, his own territory. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He played a little bit safe there. He did not want to give a turnover here. He's got the lead. He wants to uh, punt it out of there. Try to get the wheels back on their side of the field with the uh, lead here. The sun is going to be in the uh, Denby's eyes if he looks up. Oh, they're oh! offside. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take a safety. Oh, oh he gets he got it, it off. Away. Oh gosh. They're running it by the 30 yard line. So it only it winds up as a 12 yard punt, but it, it could have been a safety. Yeah. And I thought I thought he was gonna take the safety on purpose, but he passes it up, Where gets the punt out. Let's see how it works for him. Well, you take the safety. Really? You take the safety, eight, and it's eight, only eight to two. Eight to two. Then you can kick it deep. Now, let's see. Uh, now they give the oh, right. give the whale was uh, a first down, right here on the uh, thirty-one. A critical mistake by. Uh, so this is the upper here, cape. Now. This is the first mistake of the day. It doesn't show up in your uh, your stats as a mistake, but the bad uh, snap. I had my head down. Did the ball go over his yeah, head? It went all quite, quite, quite a ways. Mm -hmm. Quite a ways. I, I, I looked up and I saw the ball sailing behind him, so I don't know if it went beside him or over his head. Now, everybody thinks that snapping for a punt is an easy thing to do, but it it's complicated. When you punt the ball, it's a complicated thing. You've got to have a great snap. Well, 
Let's, let's go back to the Patriots' opening victory there. Yeah, exactly. Lining up a 47-yard field goal, which is bad easy snap. makeable, and they got a bad snap. And what did Chris Collingworth say? Arizona did not put any money into the snapper. Right. They just took a guy off the street, and they, that's, they paid for it. They lost the game. Okay, we got first and ten. Will is uh, knocking on the door here. And Travis Denby is grabbed right away. They almost had him in the backfield. He slides off of that and picks up one. We got second and about eight now, nine and a half, nine. They are keying in on Denby and they are getting a hold of him in the back. They had a hold of him in the backfield that time. He slid off it and picked up a couple. Second and nine. The Tuckett's in four down territory unless they want to try a field goal. We do have a, a good... Uh, yes, we do. We do have a good uh, kicker. So we'll see if that comes into play in this game. All right. Motion. We got a motion. Denby in motion. And they're going to go up the tomorrow, right up the middle. He's hit right away. That didn't fool anybody. Yeah, they... The, the thinking there is if they're uh, targeting in on Denby, put them in motion, send them out, and you might get rid of the linebacker. Well... You don't get rid of the uh, defensive line. The defensive line is doing the job right now. You seem to know how to close the gaps on these. So we got a third down. They give they give uh, small uh, about two. Good forward progress. Good mark. So we got third and about six, right, Dick? Third and six. All right. Again, you're in four down territory. So you're looking you're looking to pick up three or four yards. So you don't have to get all six. Long count, and they're going to be a pass. Looks like a screen. Ooh, did he get that? They're incomplete. saying it's incomplete. So it'll be fourth down. That play, Holgate to Phillips, is incomplete. The receiver came back to the football, but the ball was low. Brings this would be a 45-yard field goal, Dennis. Yeah. We have kicked them that distance before. Who was our field goal guy that... From last year, that just, uh, Will Camden would be the guy this year, I believe. Yeah. Oh, we had last year. It was uh, we had Town a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was yeah. It. He was he was he kicked the uh, the longest uh, field goal in uh, school history. But the kid that was kicking last All week right. was booming the extra points through. We got we got a slot right, I formation, and we're gonna go with the sweep, reverse, a reverse. And Yes! And Brody. He makes it. Makes the first down. Excellent block. The old reverse. The old reverse had him. Excellent call. Excellent block by the uh, quarterback and a good first breaking of the tackle by JT. He, th somebody had a chance to knock him down on the backfield. He eludes him. Hoge puts a great block on the next pursuit, which gets uh, JT enough for the first down. So and uh, the Wills keep the drive alive. Wills take over first and ten from the uppercase seven. Good pace to this game, Dick. Ball on the 17, Dennis. 17, so now you're in field goal and range, and now you're in four-down territory. They're going to be going with the sweep. And Tim Demby is, can't get, not get to the outside. Hang on to that ball. Yeah. And he's... Uh, Maybe gets a yard. Four is uh, four is shadowing four, Dennis. Their quarterback. Makes sense. Their quarterback Denby, the ball is the uh, watching Denby. Looks like he's lining up his middle linebacker there, and he's going to the side that Denby goes. That's why that play worked because he went with Denby, and then JT comes back the other way and had a lot of space. Okay, we got uh, second down. Keenan uh, Phillips flanked out to the right, and going to go to the right, left rather. Oh, we're hit oh. right away, small. Good tackle. I thought he sh oh, should have taken the outside route, though. Yeah, he's he went bounce in, it to the outside. He went on the inside there, and that's where the uh, defender was released, and he was released right in his path. If he went outside, he would have went around the defender. Okay, we got a third down in about... Five. Okay. 
you don't pick up the five here, Dennis, you have the decision, go for it or field goal. Yeah, I don't know. What would you do, Dick? Well, I, it's right now, right now you got a little bit of an angle. It depends on how much you pick up. If you, well, try, you, if you, you try, want to run the play to the middle. You want to run the play to the middle if you're thinking anything about a field goal, right? You want to get the ball back to the middle and of the field. Burton is now the tailback. And we got him in motion. And we're going to be it. We're going to throw it. Complete. That's it. Burton. The Burton. Yes. Touchdown. Beautiful. Allgate to Burton, 15 yarder. There's the freshman in for the first play of the game. A freshman, huh? He's a freshman. Oh, that's a great field. Allgate to Burton on the touchdown, Nantucket. All right, now, Dick, go for two or kick it? Uh, I think you got to go for two. I think they're going to kick it. And no, I, I, think, I think they said kick it, but then they realized that they're trailing by two. So then that, that changes your thinking here. Well, let's see. Uh, I think they're going to uh, put the offense on the field. Yeah. You kick the extra point, you're still losing by a point. That's true. But you so don't I, like that idea. I, no, I... <laughs> If, if you're going to come back, Gina, you want to come all the way back. Okay. You want to make it a new game. Right. They're not going to say they're going to get this two, and they could be throwing by two points. All right, but at go. least they're going to give it a chance to tie it eight to eight. Right. All right. We've got the eye formation. Phillips off to the left. Gabroni off to the right. And he's going to run. And yes, yes. He did it. Holgate, Jack Holgate. Jack Holgate on the extra point. So good decision there by Holgate. So Nantucket has tied it up. So eight to eight. We're watching this live, right, Jack? Watching it live. From on, on your device and on channel 99. Channel 99. What do they need? They, what device do they need? An iPhone or Samsung? Samsung. GinoTV.com. They can watch it. Well, there's no. There. We can't have any Samsungs in the booth here. We don't. Oh, we, no. we don't want any fires. That's here. right. <laughs> no, no, that's the that's the seven there. <laughs> no, no, the not the Samsung is the one. Yeah, I got a Samsung, but it's a, oh, it's a seven. You got a Samsung in the booth here? We don't. No, no, no. That's no, the no, one no. they recalled. No, I just I just left it in my car. Ah, okay. So if we have a big boom, you don't that's, have any, that's Dennis's car going yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to take a, a, any calls while we're running the air. <laughs> Unlike you, Dick. Unlike me. <laughs> so All what right. do we got? T eight to up. eight, 421 to go. Oh, what a, in the first half? First half here. Exciting ball game here at the Vito Capizzo Stadium. The Vito right. Capizzo is supposed to be up in the hill there. Me and Dennis had lunch with Vito the other day. And Vito said he's going to show up and be up at the hill here watching this. So, hi, Vito, if you're listening to us. Okay, here we go. Nice kick. And that's going to sail into the end zone. Might as well let that go. But the official makes a decision for him. official blows it dead before he even has a thought about going back and trying to run it out. By, by the way, what are your thoughts on the uh, bringing it out to the 30 now in the NFL? 25. 25. 25. I, 25. I like it. I like it, yeah. It, it's it's bringing a little bit into play. You can still keep it, kick it deep, bring it out to the 25, but you can, you can sort of pooch it. You can pooch it and, and get it and, uh, short on the... 25. And uh, it's, you know, the old days, the, was, if you, the old days, if you sort of pooched it, you could, you know, easily get it out to the 20. Now you have the challenge of getting out to 25, which is a little bit longer run, you know. Okay, we got a first down and 10. And a handoff, nice job by Yeah, they wouldn't let him go anywhere. They're getting no. a little tough Solid. on the side now. Good job there by the defensive line. Okay, tackle Garcia made by Nick Correa. Career is doing the job in the well, middle yeah, dentist today. <laughs> okay, we got second down and ten. So no gain on that. And whatever adjustment Nantucket made after that first series is working out because uh Upper Cape cannot uh, penetrate the defensive line. 
And Greg Gilliard. 23 does a little low running there. He down and gets his pad low. He did. And he picked up maybe, maybe Garcia four. Was the they gave him a pretty good uh, spot there because, you know, in high school football, as soon as your knee hits, you're down. You, you can't crawl along the ground like they do in the pros. But they're going to say his they're going to say his knee didn't touch, and he picks up about five on it. Makes it a manageable third down. Again, a little bit of wind picking up now, Dennis. And we're going to get the flag there. So if Upper Cape throws it, they're going to be throwing it to a little bit of a wind. Okay. And I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, he made it. Or maybe not. We've got to see where it spots it. Short by, ooh. I would, if I was the coach, I'd ask for measurement only to get the time to think about what you want to do. But he's standing right there, so he can see it. But I'd still ask for a measurement. Yeah, I, I, what are you going to do, Dick? You going to go for it? Uh, I, I mean, it, it's it, you, you can't go for it. Why not? Two forty-four well, we, well, to go. Well, you had a two, bad snap the first time. Okay, okay, bringing that in, bringing that into the equation. Yeah, two forty-four to go, Gino. Answering Gino's question. Two forty-four to go. You do not want to give the wheels the ball on the thirty. They can uh, go for the long snap. If you, if you. Kick, punt it. We should get it out to about the 50, but they're not. They they're gonna go, go for it. Go so if you don't make, if you don't make this yard, Nantucket gets excellent field position with plenty of time. Oh! oh. Uh, well, let's see who went off. Oh, it was them. Looked like they did, unless the defensive guy the defense went into the zone. Move, but it's gonna be illegal procedure. So now they will have to punt. Oh wow! Ball start against Upper Cape. So Upper Cape, Coach, Upper Cape was not going to punt it there, Gino. They were going to try to get Nantucket offside with a long count, and the Nantucket, uh, Nantucket defense did not move, and the Upper Cape kid moved. Cost them five yards. Right. Well, I don't think they have uh, 11 in there, Dick. Count them out. <laughs> Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, nope, there comes 11. All right. Who we got back here? Denby. Okay. Denby ready to receive Denby right around oh, the 45. Better snap this time. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, and it hit him. Is that down there? No. Yeah. Now okay. it's down. 35 yard line. What's that about? A five yard, yard, five five yard, yard kick. kick. So the first time they got a 12 yard kick, this time they got a five yard kick. So I would uh, say the kicking game is, the hard, kicking hard, game hard, is hurting. Today. Upper Cape right now, so if I was near Tucker, I would hopefully be able to take advantage here. So the ball pretty much goes back to the original well, marking of where the first down would have come because the five yard penalty put him back five yards and he only punted at five yards. Wow. So two thirty five in the first half, Dick? This is it. This is a big uh, big chance for the will is to go into halftime with the lead and the momentum. Now See how it plays out, but now a field goal is definitely a possibility if the clock gets ticking down. A lot of timeouts left here, though, so Nantucket can use them. All right, Burton, Burton. Burton, the ball carrier. Burton. Burton has a great game. Gained about six. Burton, uh, again, a freshman. Freshman. Low uh, center of gravity. A young legs, a lot of speed. 5'7", 175. He's pretty big, actually. Okay, we got second down and four. Clock's running. And Burton again. Breaks the tackle. Picks up the first down, nice. I think. Pretty close. Played the ball here for the Whalers. The clock has stopped. I don't know if there's a timeout call. Or they're just placing the ball. And now no timeout though. They just stopped the clock to mark the first down. And Tucker's wasting time here now. They should have taken advantage and had the play called. 
But again, the Nantucket must have at least three timeouts left in us, four timeouts left, so they can use them here. Minute 25 to go. So they're going to have to call a timeout after this play. If they run, or... And yeah. hold it. Yeah, they need a timeout right now. There's a flag there. Holding the ball to the flag on the play. That's in the area of holding. Let's see, let's sort this out. It's in the area of holding. holding. The whaler. Yeah. Right. So you can you can sort of tell where the flag falls, Gina, what the call is. <laughs> and it fell just about where the, the poor offensive lineman was uh, blocking. So this will be knock near tuck it back ten yards. So now it's First down and about hey what? Folks, we got 50, 50 Eight, 18 dips? First and I think it's closer to 20, Dennis. Closer to 20. I'm going to call it 20. Balls all the way out to the 33. So maybe, yeah, first and 20 from the 30, uh, 33 or maybe 19 and a half. But anyways, the clock is running, so Nantucket's, uh, you want know, to stop the and clock. The whole day it's going to go up. Incomplete pass. Okay, and that the stops clock. the clock. And there's, uh, there's four mirroring uh, Holgate that time, Dennis. Now with uh, Denby out of the game. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking for Denby four, on the sideline. Yeah, I don't know if he's hurt or not. I can't uh, spot him over there. Well, somebody's over there on crutches. Is that Denby over there on crutches? Uh... Yeah, with Cassie. I can't pick up a number, no. <coughs> well, anyway, right. uh, 49 seconds, clock is stopped. So now Nantucket would like to start thinking field goal at least. So you, you want to try to pick up about another 15 yards, if possible, to even get yourself at the field. You can always kick a field goal just before the half. Clock is winding down. And go to the long count. Oh, incomplete. Pass intended for number seven, Burke Hughes. Burke Hughes, first time they've thrown to him this year. Came out of the uh, out of the tight end slot, found himself open. Just rushed the Hokate, uh, Hokate's putting a little zip on the ball today. Yeah. And uh, he, he's want to float them in. Exactly. Want, he, that, he that, was a, that was a case where he could have floated it into Burke, and Burke would have picked up at least 10 yards and, and more if he could have broke a tackle. But when you zip it in like that there, it uh, it's becomes a little bit uncatchable. So now we got the third down, Dick, and is it third and 20? Third and 20, All right. a third and 19 and a half, whatever you want to call it, but there's 42 seconds to go here, and it's sort of out of field goal range. Let's we'll see what happens here on the third down. All right, Colgate drops straight back, going deep. Going for going the home deep. run. He's got it. Got it. Oh, he what a he, hey, What a great catch. He dropped that one in there. Wow. He dropped that one in there. 34 yarder. Holgate to Phillips on the pass. Touchdown. Nice pass by uh, Jack Holgate. Good reception by Keenan Phillips. Whalers take the lead, 14 to 8. And we're going to kick the extra point this time, Dick. That was so beautiful. Beautiful pass there. Barlett on for the extra point. He didn't zip that one. He just floated. He just floated it right. He just floated it right in there. And kick oh. is good. Wow, that's good. So Nantucket answers in a big time there. Just looking at the replay on the uh, camera, Dennis. Yeah. Because we have a little delay, so a little delay, people so that nice. are watching on on their phones or, or 
computers. There's a slight delay. It's I just looked at it on the screen. What a, what a pass it was. Beautiful. Beautiful pass. And they didn't roll them out that time. They dropped them straight back. Yeah. Stay in heading, the pocket. The Nantucket's away next week. If you're heading off, the Steamship Authority, the IAN, will check the fast boat out to and from the uh, Hyannis. You got it. It's about an hour, about an hour, five, ten minutes drive from Hyannis up to West Bridge. Well, and Gino and uh, Dennis will be going up there. The I'll be home cheering and watching. Good. On my Hopefully one, we'll, on one of my devices. You got it. As long as we got a signal, we'll we'll be live. Man, there's a short kick. Yeah, He's got to feel that. He's got to feel that. He's out of bounds. Out of bounds. There. So you got a choice. The ball, I believe, goes to the 40, Dick. <clears throat> Upper Cape will take the ball wherever they put it. They, they think they'll want to go to another Line kick. The, the kicking game is killing Upper yep. Cape. Two, uh, two shot punts have set up Nantucket for 15 points. First punt won 12 yards, second punt won 5 yards, and uh, that is the, uh, There's the difference. There's the Achilles heel of... Uh, Upper Cape, right now. So the ball, they're going to accept the penalty. They bring it out to the 30, Dennis. Oh, the ball's on the 30. Upper Cape takes on the over on their own 30-yard right line, first and 10. They're not going to get too fancy here. Quarterback is hit. They'll just be happy to. Denby uh, is in, makes the tackle. Was Denby in on defense? Yeah. Okay, so he's not hurt. He's That's not hurt. So this should be the last play of the first half here. Upper Cape may not even run a play. And they are. They're going to let the tick down here. So we've played one half here. And it's been all year on Nantucket Whalers here in the second quarter as they came back from 8-0 deficit to pile up 15 points here in the second quarter. We're going to halftime with a 15-8 lead.